made this Modern Comforts website to make it as more accessible to buy Asian products, Asian Xiaomi products. Because whenever I go back to China, I notice, you know, they have all these cool new products that I can't really get over here. And every time I come back, it's so much, it's so hard to find. And when I do find it on AliExpress, Banggood, or even Gearbest, it sometimes takes a while, it takes a couple of months. And I remember I had, a, I had a couple of times where the order just got flat out canceled. And it's kind of frustrating not having that local support, that local shipping. So I decided to offer the service to the local com community within Toronto, within Canada. So that's just a little bit about us. We're going to be showcasing a couple products throughout the live stream. We also have a live stream code for you guys to use. It's 10% off and it's called live stream 10. No, the, the capitalization doesn't matter. It's all one word, no spaces. So live stream 10. We'll also post it at the, we'll also post it throughout the live stream and at the end of the live stream too. And um, so yeah, if there's anything you want to add there, um, yeah, I, I think last time uh, uh, some folks mentioned that the sound was a little bit off. Let's do a quick sound check um, before we start going through some some products. Um, if you don't mind, if you guys could type in the chat, um, are you guys able to hear us okay? Are there a lot of background noise and, and things like that before we, we really get started? Testing, 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 testing. Okay, so I assume then it's good to go. Yeah, people are saying it's good on the sound. Okay, perfect, perfect. So um, before we get started, I guess like I'm, I'm, I'm. No, how, how's how's everyone doing? Right, like we, it's it's been a long week for 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 most of us. Um, I had a long week. Um, a lot's been going on. The weather's is turning around, so I I, I really like that. Man, I've been, it was raining so much this morning. Yeah, I know. It, it's it's, it's it was crazy. It's it's a good rain though. Like mm -hmm. wash everything away, and, and it's just the right timing of the year. So, I'm I'm pretty happy. The weather's turning around, and and we get to to go outside with our kids, with our family, right? And being stuck in here for so long. So I'm I'm pretty happy about that. I hope you guys you know got some opportunity to head outside as well. You know, with with your your family, loved ones, by yourself, whatever it is. Right, get some fresh air. Um, on another note, I'm a I'm a big Raptors fan. Uh, I don't know if, if uh, you guys noticed already, but it was a big week for the Raptors, and and you know we got to keep some, and, and we lost we lost uh, 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 Norm Norman Powell, and and you know I'm a big fan of his as well. So it's been a it's been a fun and exciting week, and and now it's it's we get to do more things that that we love. Right, being here with you guys, um, sharing our thoughts, sharing our our. Um, our experiences as well right as eric mentioned i've been personally uh, shopping for an electric bike and and i've been really wanting to to get a good quality good value low price right and all of that and and i've been looking at all these brands whether it's it's locally within canada in korea in japan in china in taiwan um as well and and i've kind of narrowed it down to to a model and a brand that i think has great value so so as part of our business model what we do is actually we identify these products, whether it's 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 an e-bike, whether it's a shaver, whether it's a scale, whatever it is. We, we look for good value products that are high quality, um, that that we believe are compatible with with the voltage here and it's safe to use. And we bring it over here to, to Canada and we test it out. And once we've tested out, it's good to go and it's proven. That's when we actually then put it on our site for sale. So any product that you find on our site uh, for sale, we've actually tested it and, and tried it out before. Um, so we know it's, it's it's pretty good. So later on at near the, closer to the end of the stream, I'm gonna take us through kind of my product selection of the electric bike, um, why I think it, it's, it's a great, great uh, product, as well as um, a potential group buy that we could uh, uh, organize um, for anyone else that's interested as well. Um, so we'll we'll get into that later, but um, you know once again just very happy that it's the end of the week that we get to do something that you know it's not our day job it's it's we're very passionate about being here with you guys and and trying to grow this and grow the community so um, you know thank you so much for for your support and and, and joining us on our stream. Just want to give a shout out to Fire Five. He says he's missing the game for this live stream. Oh yeah, we appreciate that. 
<laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. Yeah, I just want to say, so a lot of you backordered some items uh, on our last last live stream. So a little bit update on that. We're going to be shipping, if some of you already received your orders, and for those of you ha who haven't, we're going to be shipping everything out. And if you're local, we're going to deliver it out by the end of this weekend. So you should have your item, if you're locally, if you're within the GTA, by the end of this weekend. And if you're out of province, most likely midweek next week. And I know, I think there's one or two of you who hasn't, who hasn't received their gifts from the last live stream. I, I do remember, and we're going to get to get them to you by the end of this weekend too. So sorry about that. Sorry about the wait. And thanks for understanding. Right, right. And the gifts, the most important things yeah. of, of why you guys are here, right? So, so um, first of all, uh, uh, free shipping has been, has been uh, activated on our website. So um, um, uh, free shipping is, is across Canada right now, and it is activated. Um, for those that that are interested in in ordering anything but um you know you're not you don't have to like this we're here to make friends and 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 build a community that's really our our, our goal here um second of all is the free gifts right what are we giving out today um so similar to last time we are are going to select six individuals um our moderator is going to help us and and select six individuals and and um, we're gonna have to ask you guys to to email us we're going to to pin the message pin your your usernames um, up top um, uh, and it's going to be closer to the middle of the stream that's when we'll select some individuals we're going to select six of you mm -hmm. and we will be giving out um, similar to last time we'll be looking at the uh, uh, nail clippers the Xiaomi nail clippers and we'll do a quick show and tell on that um, as well as the Xiaomi backpack that I have just sitting in the back there as well which is a, a very cool um, simplistic uh, uh, backpack as well so that's what we'll be giving away so stay tuned we'll we'll, we'll make sure we call you out and pin the pin your names uh, uh, up top on on the live chat yeah a lot of people actually like the nail clippers like they found it to be great easy to use and you know it stores the nail clip your nail clippings which is great so yeah, it's just uh, this one right over here. Yeah, we'll show it later. Yeah, we'll show it later. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think everyone's ready for the first first item. Yep, yep. Yeah. So so the first item I, I wanted to to show is the uh, Xiaomi X1, uh, or it's the One X, sorry. It's the Xiaomi One X uh, standing fan. So I kind of have that just, just next to me right here. And before I get into the product review, um, or not review, product review. Uh, before I go into a close-up of the product, I wanted to share some some features because I have tested it out. Um, so so the 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 electrical component is is uh, uh, okay. Everything works fine. I ran the fan for for over eighteen hours and there were no um, issues at all. And the fan is really cool, and I find it's very cool because it's a smart fan. Um, and and it's 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 takes on the simple minimalistic design so it's very um, simple and it's all white like a lot of the, the Xiaomi products out there and you, of course you could control it with an app there are many different settings and we'll get into that as well but a really cool feature that I like because I'm, I'm all about you know I, IOT and smart things is that it's integrated with Google Assistant so you could you know tell Google to actually uh, turn on your fan um, for lazy people like me, so yeah, I don't have to get out of the bed, you know. Yeah. Stay in bed, comfy, <laughs> nice and warm. Right, exactly, and and with you know spring coming around and summer coming around, it's a it's a good mm -hmm. um, item. At least that's what I think. It's a good item to delay uh, turning on your your AC for any uh, fathers out there that are, are you know could, could master controllers of their thermostat in their home. Um, you know, you could delay maybe turning on your 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 AC for a couple of months. Well, both for from an environmental perspective as well as right, like saving a few dollars in in, in your pocket, and and it's good to have fresh air in in your home and air circulated. Um, so yeah, let's let's jump right in. Oh. Well, I just, like I don't know about you guys, but I know during the summer I have one leg out and one leg out of the blanket, and sometimes I don't like that feel. I like to be all co cozied up, but it's so hot. So I know like this fan, it gets it, it can cool you right down, which is nice, and it has a really long range too. So yeah, that's something yeah. I I really enjoy. Exactly, and I mean my my buying process and how we select the products is like before I selected this fan or or after I found it, the first thing I did is went on Amazon, right? Mm -hmm. I went on Amazon, I looked around at all the fans, and I said, well, what's comparable from a look and feel perspective? None of them. What is is kind of comparable from a functionality perspective? 
not really any of them. And then from a price perspective, um, you know, they, they were actually more expensive on, on Amazon when I found it. So I said, okay, well, these now that's how I qualify, right? Because we want to look for unique niche items that can bring value. So that's how I qualified the fan, brought it in, tested it out. It's all good. Now we're here showing it to you on the live stream. So without further ado, I'm going to ask Eric to, because I don't have my phone connected. I had to connect it via hardwire. Um, so I'm going to ask Eric to, to uh, pop up my phone, um, open that app, and then we're going to show you what the app looks like. We're going to get a close-up of the view. I'm going to bring, bring the fan up here. We're going to do a close-up of the fan itself and then uh, uh, show you how it works. See you guys later. All right, so let's change the view right here. Oops, that is not a good view. Let's make sure we get the fan in here. Okay, let's make sure we get some good angles on this guy. Sorry, Eric, I think you're just standing in my way. I'm just trying to check the camera to see if it's a good angle for our audience. Perfect. Maybe this is a good one. Excellent. Right over here. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just trying to work it because it's sitting on the couch right now and I'm trying to find the best angles so that everyone could see. So before we actually start the app, um, let's first go over the, the fan itself, right? So so the fan here, of course, it's it's a typical fan. It has your 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 you know your your blades your your cover um this pole right here is all metal um it's all metal um and it's it's all white it's it's your base at the bottom here with grips um and it's all uh a pure simple white fan they have a wireless version for like almost double the price but i don't think that's the best value like personally i'm okay with with uh, uh having a wired version but if any of you guys feel like um, you guys would want the wireless version, let us know in the chat. We'd be happy to to bring that in as well. Everything is exactly the same, except it's wireless. Like you could pull it uh, and, and put it anywhere that, that you want. So um, the fan itself here uh, uh, is I can easily remove this. And I want to remove this and show you guys what, what it looks like over here. Um, because I, I don't know, for those that have used fans, you know that when... Uh, you use it for some time now. There's a lot of dust and kind of cobwebs that gets stuck over here as well. Now, this one is really easy. You could just easily turn this, this one right here. That's how I assembled the fan together. And then I could just take this out. I could just take this piece out. And you can see this is a very nice, it's a, it's a thin, very, very lightweight plastic. And I forgot to tell you guys that all the fans in terms of the decibel noise that it makes at the lowest level, I, I checked on Amazon and it was like 38 decibels. And I was like, oh, maybe this one's pretty close, right? I checked this one and it was, I believe, 28 decibels. So it was significantly more quiet than any of the other fans that I was researching. And and I mean, given the power and the other functionalities in, in a relative manner. So so having said that, I, I, I think it's perfect for your room if you're sleeping and you just want that little cool breeze um, as well, and we'll show you the scheduling and all of that. But I just wanted to tell you it's really easily assembled, um, and I can just plug it in right here. I put it back, get this cap right back on here as well, and then all I have to do is twist it back, give it a few twists. Oops, I'm screwing it the wrong way. It's it's not. Uh, it is a uh, counterclockwise. It's the opposite of what you would assume it to be. So right now I'm turning left to tighten everything. Oh, here we go. And then just put the cover back on. And the cover, I don't know if it's hard to see for you guys, or maybe the angle is hard to see, but there's the Xiaomi logo right in the middle, but because it's white on white, it may be a little bit hard to see. So it's pretty, um, it's a simple minimalistic design, um, even though there's no words on it, it's just a small tiny logo that you can barely see. And then just let me put this back on top. Cool. Okay. Now, ooh, the thing's gonna fall on me. All right. Perfect. So, oh, is that my shadow? All right. So let's go over to the uh, phone just right now, and let's get that that ready to go. Let's pop the app open. Um, so this is uh, uh, we have two apps. What we're looking at right now is actually the uh, um, the Me Home app, and as you can see, I have the fan added there. And if I tap and I click into the fan. 
then this is what the the UI uh, the user interface looks like for for the Fed. Um, obviously, there is a, a on and off button. So let's go ahead. Let's tap the on and off button. Let's turn on the fan. And then as you can see right behind me, um, the fan is on um, blowing at me right now. And then there's different functions, right? As we go down here, we see right now we're using the direct fan feature, right? So this is the strongest. I think it's advertised to, to go about 14 meters across the room um, without any obstruction. When I tested it and I put a piece of uh, tissue there, um, I think I landed around 12 meters or so. So, so you know, 12 to 14 meters, let's say, which is pretty far. Um, um, across the room and then there is also to the right of that there's actually the natural uh, uh, wind um, motion and I want I want to show you that as well because that is the super quiet um, mode so Eric let's turn it to the natural wind um, let's make it maximum speed um, as fast as you can and then let's see if we can actually hear the fan because like this is one of the best features I like about it it's super super quiet um, so I'm, I'm going to stop talking for like 10 seconds and then I'd love to see um, if you guys are actually able to hear the fan running. Like I can't even hear it behind me right now. It's so, so quiet. So Eric, let's do this. Let's turn it to the direct mode and then let's stop the oscillation. And then let's let's uh, uh, I'm going to stop talking and then you should be able to hear a bit of this because the mic is right here and the fan is right here. So I'm going to stop talking again for another 10 seconds. Yeah, so I, I, I definitely hear that um, it's, it's, it's strong. This is the highest level setting um, with direct wind. Let's turn it down a bit, Eric. It's blasting my head over here. So then, as, as you can see, there's four different main levels, but not only four levels. You could actually have like settings from 0 to 100. So if you want it at level 1, it's actually 10. But if you want it at 15, if you want it at, at you know 21, if you were kind of specific about the, the, the level of, of fan speed and the, the, the wind coming out, you could configure that as, as well. And then as we scroll to the bottom, there's different features of, you know, turning on indicators, um, turning on uh, setting the schedule of, of uh, number of hours before it turns off. It also has the ability, we'll show you that in a second, to set an actual schedule of when, what time to start, what time to end, which days of the week as well. Um, but as we go down here, we also have the, the indicator light at the back of the fan. Um, we also have child safety locks um, and then... Uh, the sound feature as well. I turned that off because I don't like beeping things every time I touch a button. Um, and and yeah, that, that is the UI. That's a simple UI. And then let's quickly show uh, uh, the scheduling as well. well let me, uh, let me change oh, yeah, yeah. Eric's going to... So what Eric is doing right now is he's manually changing the, the, the direction of where the fan speed is. So he's going left and right, left and right, and he's showing, showing, he's manually tapping that as you can see. He's going, like those tap, tap games. yeah, yeah, he's going ham on the button there. Um, so, so, yeah, yes. Okay, go easy on it, please. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, you can manually control it, right? So, so you're sitting on your couch, you're in your bed, and it's blowing at your face. Oh, I don't like that. I gotta get up from my bed or my, the couch now, my perfect spot. Well, no, you don't. You could just, get on your phone tap 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 shift the foot with the wind over a little bit um and and you could do that as well oh one thing i forgot to mention actually other than going left and right um i can actually tilt the head and make it go up and down as well now this tilt is is manual um eric if you could turn off the oscillation i'll tilt it a bit more i don't want to go against the the motor um but yeah the oscillation is off i can tilt it down i can tilt it up but there's no functionality on the app for you to do that. Um, you have to do that manually. And once you set it, you can, what you can do via the app is on and off, the wind speed, oscillation, and then manual oscillation um, of, of it as well. So one last thing uh, I wanted to show you with, with respect to, to the schedule. You can um, also change how wide it goes, the oscillation. Oh, yes, 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 sorry. Yeah, thanks for the reminder, Eric. You can also change how, how much it oscillates, right? So a maximum of, I think it says 140 degrees. I can't see the screen all the way from here. Um, for 140 degrees, and then I think minimum of... 30. So it goes in 30 degree increments. 
Oh, 30, 30 degree increments. Okay. 30 to 120 and then 140. So. Okay, so from 30 all the way until until 120, it sounds like. 120 and then 20, 140. Oh, and then 140. Okay, yeah. So the point is that you can configure how much you want it to oscillate, um, you know, so that you don't have to wait all the way for the fan to come back and get some wind. Um, so yeah, that is, is the fan. Do you guys have any questions? Like, do you want to see anything? Do you want me to do anything with it? Do you guys want me to show anything else um, about the fan? Okay, so um, I'll, I'll see if there's any messages coming through. Sometimes there's a little bit of a delay, but I'm not going to hold, hold, hold you guys up. Um, the, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So let's let's move on to to the next um, product, and and I'm going to bring Eric back um, to. Oh, there's one more thing. I keep forgetting. It's, it's see, it's been a long day. Like it's 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 uh, yeah. So one more thing, and 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 Google Assistant, right? Like we we want to be able to turn on and off the fan with our voice. We don't even want to open the app, right? Because we're just that lazy. So let's open up our Google Home. This is my Google Home. If you hit the back button, perfect there. So this is my Google Home. You see that I have the fan integrated in my basement right now. Um, and yes, I am a, a Google uh, a, a supporter. Um, I have that outfitted throughout my home. So Eric, let's hit back and let's hit on the mic on that on that uh, uh, screen. And if you hit the mic and then Eric's going to say, you know, say the, the, hey, Google, turn off the fan um, and then we'll watch the fan uh, turn off. But yeah, let's do that. Hey, Google, turn off the fan. So as you can see, the fan is off um, and and uh, it's not oscillating anymore and it works. I'm, I'm using my phone, but it works with any Google Assistant supported device once you integrate it into into your app. Um, I'm trying to figure out other commands, right? Like, does it go oscillate? I tried those commands. It doesn't work right now. What I've tried so far is the the on and off, but I've been uh, doing a lot of research to figure out what uh, should work and what what shouldn't. Um, so that should be the last feature. Of the fan, um, yeah. So I'm going to bring Eric back. Um, I'm just going to move some of these around. We're going to be talking about Eric. Are we going to do the the flashlight one more time? Yeah, right we'll now? do the flashlight and also the music lamp. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so last time for those of you that were on our stream, um, we showed in a six in one. Um, um, flashlight that has the strength of, of about a thousand lumens. I'm not going to steal the, the the spotlight from Eric. I'm going to let him talk about it, but I wanted to highlight one point. Um, we've been hearing a lot of kind of uh, Asian hate um, crimes that has been happening, not only within uh, 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 the United States, we've been hearing it in, in Canada as well, in Toronto, in Vancouver. I've been seeing it reported on the, on, on, on the news in, in Markham, right? Like we've, we've heard about it in Markham and, and truly that really makes me sad, um, you know, for that to happen and for that to happen to our, our elders. Um, and, and because of that reason, we decided, uh, to, um, essentially, uh, have like essentially lower the price of this flashlight because it has an emergency feature. Um, and we essentially took down the price of this flashlight, uh, 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 to that. We're taking a little bit of a hit of it uh, on it, but, but that's okay because we like, a, a, one, like I said before, we're about the community and, and there's nothing more important than safety of, of our, our members of our community, um, as well. And when I say that, I mean like people in BC as well, not only Markham, not only Richmond Hill, not only the GTA, right? Like everyone in, in Canada. And for that reason is why we, we lowered the price significantly on, on this piece, um, because we we want people to be able to have it uh uh you know so that they can give it to their grandmas grandpas have it in their pockets and 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 then um yeah and, and be safe right I'm, i'll i'll bring eric back let's have him talk about some of the features of of why it can can be a little bit safe for for the folks as well so just one thing yeah. um someone asked how does the scheduling work for the fan oh yeah the scheduling did we show the scheduling earlier we didn't go there right okay so yeah you have it up eric perfect so let's let's show that right uh now um, while we we have that up, so Eric uh, uh, went to the schedule um, section area, and then we have different types, right? You can set a start time, you can set an end time, and then you could do a, a routine as well. So let's click on the first option that we have there, 
and then it's pretty straightforward, right? Um, you could set a, a routine, you could set a specific time, um, you could set a specific all the days, um, um, or just one day, and then you could set specific smart start times um, as well. So Eric, go ahead and, and pick a few times, um, you know, pick a few dates, set the start, um, set the stop, and essentially it'll just start and stop as long as it has power and it's connected to your, your Wi-Fi at home, then it will uh, start and stop whenever you want. So. Um, great for those that have pets, right? Uh, uh, um, that that are at home. If you wanted to start at a specific time, um, you know, throughout the day, just to circulate the air in your house in, in in the summer, I think it's just it's just genius, kind of how they they develop the app, it coinciding with a simple product like a fan itself. So thanks for that 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 question. Perfect. So I'll bring Eric back. Um, we're, let's let's uh, we'll we'll talk about the the flashlight a little bit, um, and then we'll we'll go from there. All right. Perfect. Here, come on, put this on the side, and I'll sit next to you. All right. All right. Let's move this. Down a bit. Yep. Let's make. Let's get that product view. We're just gonna get the camera in the in the right angle. Um, here, like, let me help you out with this one. Yep. Perfect. That should be a good angle. The zoom is okay. What's up, guys? I'm back. All right. Looking good. Let's move this out of the way. All right, so yeah, we showed this flashlight over here on the last live stream. What it comes, this is the box it comes with. This is just the box it comes with, and it comes with a USB charger for the flashlight and also the flashlight itself over here. So there's only it it gets controlled by one button right over here. It just gets controlled. Everything is controlled by this one button here. So if you open this up, that's where you would charge your, you can charge your phone. There's one slot for your phone. There's also one slot for, for the, for the light itself. So it is a little bit, you do have to kind of jam it back in, but it is route like it is pretty flexible. <laughs> you have to jam it back in. It's not that hard, is it? No, it's not too hard, but like, <laughs> you know, sometimes I like to exaggerate. <laughs> so yeah, so this part right here, it is magnet. So you can fixate, fixate it on your car's hood yeah yeah I think. your car's hood so in case you're working on something or against something magnet so you don't have to carry it around um, I know sometimes I have my phone's flashlight before I before I had this use my phone's flashlight I have it like you know tilt on my head a little bit like that and try and do some work it's kind of you know your, your neck gets kind of crampy so how to use this to use this like I mentioned before you just there's this one button here to turn it on you just kind of hold it for a sec and this is its normal flashlight mode. So over here, let me show it on the side like this. You just press it again. So you just hold it for about one or two seconds and the light will automatically come on. And you just press it once to change the brightness. So is this, oh, okay. Was that, is this the second brightest or is this the brightest now? So that was the brightest. This is the lowest brightness. Oh, sorry, this is the lowest brightness. Highest back down to medium, back down to lowest, back down to highest. Oh, I'm doing, I'm looking at the screen and I don't think it does it like justice of how bright it is. Yeah. Like it's pretty bright in my, in front of my eyes. I try to go up a bit. But when I look at it in the, on the screen, it's not, not as, as bright, but. Yeah. Cause we have, we have lights off on the side too. Yeah. So mm, do you think we can turn off the lights maybe? No, I don't think we're we're I don't think we're set up to to prepare for that <laughs> that that movement. So let's not move things around when we haven't uh, practiced it yet. So like so, just being real with our viewers here. <laughs> so to turn it back off, you just hold it for about half a second and boom, off. Hold it back off half a, hold it back hold the button for half a second back on. The other other mode is if you double tap the power button here is it can change the light to the body, the body. So I'll double tap, one, two, and look. And you can rotate it around. 
Oh, like so that's what you mean by like you put it on the hood of your car because of the magnet yeah. and you it shines on the hood of your car for any mechanics out there mm -hmm. or you know if you're stuck in a tight spot then you could you could stick it on the hood of your car and work underneath it exactly oh, okay, okay okay yeah so you can yeah using you can use this for any tools you have that way that way you're not really like holding onto your flash with your neck or anything so it comes in two colors i believe and to change it you just press this button right here again Boop. oh that's the brightness brightness and then one more time that's red one more time flashing and then brightness one more time red and then oh yeah i forgot to warn you so yeah so it, it would flash um, so any viewers that's kind of sensitive to photo, like to lights, I'm just going to do a quick flash again in three seconds, three, two, one, and then off. So, so what yeah. about, what about the, the, the front though? Does the front flash? No. So the, so there's three kind of modes. You can turn on the body, which is this one right here, and you can turn on the front one, uh, the front, the main one here. And you can do like the emergency mode where everything will kind of light off and it'll emit a buzzing sound. But before I get to that, I just want to show with the front, you can also change its focus just by kind of pulling and pushing this back in. Cool. So with that being said, I'm going to use the emergency mode and it is going to make a loud buzzing noise with a lot of flashing lights. So if you're sensitive to that or if you have your volume turned up all the way to the max i'm just giving you giving you a warning right now yeah this is this this uh it's it's a it's a beep it's a loud beep that happens mm. and this is what i was talking about like for for any like like i got one of these for 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 an elder um um as well but for anyone that that you know like typically like grandpas and grandmas right there not all of them but a lot of them are stubborn right they like to go out for walks all the times of the day they like to to walk you know like and, and take long walks and and sometimes like and I'm, I'm worried right because of all these things happening um you know uh, uh that's been happening lately so this is something that they can keep in their pocket and activate within two seconds that would draw a lot of attention to them what eric's just about to show mm -hmm. um and he showed me this before and i and that's why i think it's 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 really cool um because it's 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 stealth right like you could have in your pocket you activate it and 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 it would bring a lot of attention to you because of the light because of the noise mm. is it going to stop an attack no is it going to prevent um you know a lot of damage from an attack because it will attract others to 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 focus on on the noise and on the individual i would say so um i i, I think it would it would do that so especially if they have no idea what's going on they're like what the hell like exactly it might yeah. scare them off so so just again another fair warning it's going to be loud um our mic is right here so turn down your volume for a little bit um and if you are are you know have sensitive to light um then please please uh, uh look away from the camera so it's this button right here i'm gonna turn and hold it for about two to three seconds Right, and I, like, well, how did you turn it back off? So to turn it back off, same way as turning it, turning the emergency mode on, you just hold it for about two to three seconds, and yeah, it'll turn off. Um, so yeah, one thing I remember going to school, like I had a lot of late night classes, and just walking back to campus or walking back to my residence or even back to my off campus um, where I lived. Sometimes like it's late at night, and I had to walk home alone in the dark, like for about 20, 30 minutes. And I know in McMaster, they have something similar to this, but it's, um, they have it as a stand where you press a button and on the pole, there's a light on top of the pole and it'll kind of flash and it also alert the local, like any authorities to see if you're okay. So they have something like that, but in a more, like a larger form, I guess. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's good when you're walking at night. Um, so it's just, you're a lot more visible. And everybody can kind of see where you are to see if you're okay. So it's just something we really like just for its safety feature, just with everything's going on right now. So yeah. Then it's, it's, yeah, it's good for, I mean, men or women, I guess, like mm -hmm. that. <clears throat> if you 
travel alone you travel at night it's like <clears throat> excuse me just the just just society and how how it is right now it's just we need to be safe and and ensure that that you know we we we, we take care of ourselves and and, and well-being um as well yeah so yeah i'm just looking questions? at the chat to see if in, if there's any questions do, do, do. ah <clears throat> the size of it that's a good point um what is the the size of it so how do we i don't um, know the eggs can you pass my phone here I'll, 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 I have an iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max, mm -hmm. um, and and then we can compare it um, for those of you that have that as well. So, Let's grab this. Yeah. You know, if we had a banana for scale, that'd be great. <laughs> so, so that that is it's about the same size, and in terms of uh, the height of it, um, it's it's the girth. I mean, I it's how do I describe that? I mean, I don't have anything relative to show the audience, but in terms of length, it's about the same exact length as it looks like as the, the iPhone pro max. And, and the, the girth of it is about like maybe an inch or so. Um, I'd say round. So it, it would fit in your pocket. Um, it, I mean, yeah, it would fit in your, Oh, okay. Yeah. That is a, what is that? It's the chunkies, chunkies. Oh, okay. Uh, well, okay. Let's put it over here. I mean, that's a bad comparison Eric. Like, how, how are people going to see what's going on? <laughs> it's like it's just gonna get people hungry um but i think yeah it's it's it, it would like it would it would be ideal in a jacket pocket a, a sweater pocket um in your pocket as well um females would probably not because female wear tighter clothing so if they had it in their pocket it's probably not so comfortable the best spot is in their purse right like for for that as well yeah but it's not like because of all the different functionality, it's not small, and because of the, the amount of noise it has to emit, it's not small, right? It's not like the size of a double A battery or, or or something like that. Yeah. So um, to find out the exact dimensions, like we do we do post it on our website too under the product, under under the flashlight. Uh, if you go to the product specifications, it'll show it'll show there. Yeah, and the name of the product, it's uh, <clears throat> we have it up right here. The next think, tool oh, six and small. one yeah if you if we have a search bar but if you search next tool it's n-e-x-t-o-o-l and then if you scroll down there's a feature and specifications and then that's where you'll be able to see the exact specifications of of the uh, product itself yeah yeah so if you if you want to back one um so just to answer some people's questions if if an item's not in stock right now it should be if and if you want to buy it or reserve it, you can go to the back order page and buy it, and you can still use the discount code. And there should be there's there's still free shipping. You can use the live stream ten code. And if it's not there for any reason, you can just shoot us an email about what you're looking for, and we'll configure it for you. Uh, we'll configure it for you so that. It yeah, yeah. Let's let's like if it's not there, we'll make it there by by the end of this live stream. Like we'll we'll make mm -hmm. it there. Like we won't we won't make it so tough for them. Like to send us an email, this and that. We'll make sure that it's there. And if it's sold out, um, because of of you know you guys and, and your great support, then we'll make sure that it's on the back order page, um, in order for you guys to to do that. So for the folks that are on the desktop right now, if you hover over the shop, um, button on our page, you'll be able to see that you could reserve an item. Um, and that's where you'll see the back order order page or the reserve an item page. Um, and then by doing that, we'll be able to hold your free shipping and we'll be able to uh, uh, honor the 10% off um, as well for you. So mm -hmm. having said that, I think um, for our free shipping and, and, um, and kind of honoring the 10% uh, for any orders that are completed <clears throat> before, let's say, you know, 3 a.m. for our folks in, in Vancouver as well, <clears throat> excuse me, then uh, uh, we'll keep free shipping and the 10% uh, uh, activated for uh, all the way until 3 a.m. And then we'll we'll take it off then. So we give you guys an uh, abundant amount of time to look around and, and make the decisions that, that you guys need. Yeah, so I just want to show you our next item. It's the Easy Velo Music Lamp. It's over here. Let me just see if you guys can get over here. I'll bring it up a little bit. Yeah, I, I noticed for this camera, if you bring it up a little bit towards the camera and then you bring it back down, then it'll focus the zoom. So it needs yeah, to catch the item first. Okay, let me just hold it up. Yeah, let's bring it closer a little bit, even closer. Oh, it doesn't go. Okay, here. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. So um, this is a, uh, yeah, 
It's a little blurry. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. Okay. Yeah, so we have it in two colors. The other one's more of like a wooden brown color. And then we have this one right here. It's the uh, Easy Vamo Music um, the music lamp. It also charges your phone. And you can kind of hold it, change this, and hold it, carry it around if you want. But yeah, you can. it connects to your phone via Bluetooth. And if you tap here, it'll also change lights. Change uh, it'll change the brightness of the light over here. So if you tap once, it turns on. Oops. There, I forgot to plug it in. Tap once, twice, three times, and finally off. So you can you can kind of set your brightness to your liking. And to connect it to your phone, you just hold the play button here for about three seconds. And it'll make that it'll make that noise that you just heard. <laughs> that noise too and then it should show up on your on your phone via Bluetooth I'm just kind of looking for for it right now what do you mean you didn't have this connected beforehand I did but I took it off just so I can show <laughs> show everyone oh so yeah easy veil easy veil Lydia so yeah it's already it was already connected so I can put it like this and you can put you can play music through it so here, let me just pick a random song. Hope you guys like the music that I chose. So if I press play here, oops. nope, sorry, I just turned it off. it, turn it back on. And you can also change the track just by pressing, oh, just by holding the right one. And then you can change the volume. So if you hold the button, it, it, it changes the track. If you press the button, it changes the volume. Okay. And then it can also charge your phone just by placing in the middle right here. And I don't, oops, I gotta find that perfect spot. There we go. So it's just charging right now. Just lost it. But yeah, my my phone's a little bit old, but yeah, it's easy. Here, just do mine. Here, perfect. perfect. Where was that sweet spot? Yeah, it's 100% yeah, charged. Yeah. It'd be easier yeah. to see without the light. Yeah. Try that one more time. But yeah, you can also pick up phone calls too. You can also answer phone calls. Um, what do you mean, like, like? Yeah. So if someone calls me, I can hold it for I can, if I hold it for about half a second, just once or twice. Hello. Whoa, hello, hello. 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 It's okay, I guess she doesn't want to talk. Okay, let's hang up the phone. And then here, can 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 you try calling me again just so I can show everyone me uh rejecting that phone call? So if you just hold the play button, you know, listen you're listening to your your, your good music, you don't want to get interrupted, <laughs> just press that play button, hold that play button and the call will get declined. So yeah, this is the easy Velo the music lamp. Has a lot of different functionalities and it's a nice kind of a nice nice addition to to the lamp yeah and and the reason we we picked it right is because going back to the beginning of our, our stream we said you know good quality we tested it we played around a lot with it good quality USB-C um, charging and it's it looks good right like I, I I mean I think it looks good it has that quartz granite look right it gives you that upscale feel um, it has great functionality it has what is it three in one like it has the lights it has the charging what else did it? Oh, and, and the music, and the Bluetooth speaker, music yeah. as well. And I don't know how well you guys heard the music, but when I first used this, I was assuming, oh, it's going to be just a poor speaker, you know, and not that loud. Like, this thing's pretty loud, yeah. and, and the music's pretty good. It's not like some high-end, you know, like speaker, but it's 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 not like, you know, those $1,000 speakers and whatnot, but it's it's great, and it'll, it'll be good enough for most uh, most people. 
Um, and and I, I got one to use beside my bed as well because I, I don't want to put so many things, right? A light, a charger, and, and a speaker, and this and that. And now I just have one thing, um, and one thing that, that mm-hmm. looks looks pretty pretty good. Um, and, so, yeah. yeah, so Wendy Wa says, um, does it support an iPad? So it supports key the key charging, QI charging. The only issue, the iPad might be a little bit too big to fit under here, but if you kind of hold this down, as long as you find that sweet spot, it, it will charge. Um, like another good uh, use case, and that's a good question. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I forgot who, who asked, but but um, I think it's it's good because sometimes your iPad speaker, if you're watching a movie, right, and, and your iPad speaker is, is not loud enough, you could integrate that in. And I, I have an iPad right here. I'm just going to pop off this, this case. It's not a pro. I have a... a I don't know what you call this, but this is a, a not as new iPad. But um, oh, sorry, Eric, you go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Where, where is it? Where, just right at. The oh center? no! Oh, I don't think it's. I don't think iPads have key charging. But let's see. I don't think. Do they? I don't think so. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure um, iPads don't. But what I was what I was getting at is that if you open up the the handle or the light or whatever you call it, you could actually sit the iPad there the same way. Um, and and hold it up and watch your shows and watch your you know whatever it is and you could connect the the um, uh, Bluetooth. yeah the Bluetooth yeah. as well for the sound but no I don't think like it's not that like it's it's the key charging it's the the wireless charging so I, and I don't think mm-hmm. the iPad supports that um, but any kind of device that supports it it would work um, for it yeah. Away. So yeah, this is the Ezo EZ Velo music lamp, and I don't know if I have the box it comes in, but it looks pretty nice too. Is it? Oh yeah, I had the. Bo- oh, it's it's over, it's just right. It's just be just behind there. Yeah, oh. you can grab it. Yeah, so it's E Z V A L O for anyone that wants to search it up. Um, and yeah, the box is it's it's well packaged. I I, I mean these companies like Easy, uh, uh, yeah, Easy Velo, they're they're pretty good like in terms of their packaging, their quality, um, and and the instructions as well. And then if you turn turn that around, I think we'll see the the boxing there, and you'll see the name. It's E Z V A L O. And as Eric, I think Eric mentioned that is there another style you said of this? Yeah, so there's a kind of a brown wood. It looks like the top. The top is different. It looks a little bit wooden, like that wooden kind of um, look and feel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Pretty nice. So it's like wood or like a, a a quartz kind of feel, and it's not quartz. Like it's not super heavy like quartz. I think it's it's like a plastic made to look like quartz because then I don't think the wireless charging would go through uh, uh, the quartz itself. Yeah. Checking if there's any questions. Link to three. Perfect. Yeah, people say we need to restock the garbage can. Yeah, it's, we did. Um, yeah. We, we have some sh- on its way, actually. So we're planning to update our inventory. And then once once it's in our inventory, we'll let you guys know. Yeah, it's been a popular item too. Um, yeah, and, and we, we, we it's, it's, it's on its way. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. that's one of the items that's a little bit more more delayed right and and we got a bunch of uh, uh, dumbbells as well um that's that's on our pre-order site we brought a bunch of dumbbells over because um um it's good value and it looks good and and you know all those points that i mentioned uh before as well so yeah and just yeah. um before we i i'm not too sure if we've given given away any gifts yet but you just got to be signed in just so we know who you are and so we can kind of pin you onto our chat and also um yeah so we so we know who you are and we can pin you onto the chat just to let you know if you're not signed in unfortunately there's no we can't really like tell you you won just because it doesn't show on the chat like your username or anything um that's for that and yeah yeah the last top the last topic of today was the 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 hemo bike Right, 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 and and that's where where um that's you know what what I talked about my my journey of of the of the e e e bike and and whatnot. But before I I go there, I just wanted to finish off with some of the products that that we showed and the garbage can as well. Like um we we like if you subscribe to our site, uh, there's a couple of good good benefits. Like first of all, we don't we we try our best in in our definition to spam you. We won't send you an email every day. At most, you'll get an email once a week from us, and those emails are to tell you that we've restocked our items, when our next live stream is, 
and what are some of the cool items that we're looking at. So for example, um, we did send one out recently and that's how people knew that we restocked our air pumps mm -hmm. um, and whatnot. And then I'm currently looking at a lot of uh, the Amazfit watches as well, the Amazfit uh, smart watches, um, because summer's coming, right? I want to get out there. I want to exercise. I want to lose <laughs> this big belly that I got under here. Um, and and I want to be able to to have metrics and monitor that. Um, and for those of you that saw the live stream about the smart scale, that integrates with the Amazfit. So then I'm able to track my progression with the scale and with kind of the heart monitoring and, and different things like that as well. So uh, I have a page. I have a bunch of these, these Amazfit um, I have a bunch of these Amazfit uh, uh, products to show as well, um, and that will be our kind of our last segment of the stream. And I'd love to guys, uh, I'd love for you guys to show me, um, uh, tell me what what products you guys might be interested in, right? Like whether it's what we've shown or, or or you know any products that you guys know as well, because we don't know everything. So if you guys see things that you think is cool, uh, write a comment on our on this stream um, on on the YouTube. Uh, feel free to leave a comment right now, whether or or leave a comment in the uh, YouTube stream, um, and we will for sure look at it. And we'll take into consideration of of bringing that in as well. Yeah, send us an email, message us on Facebook, or even like chat with us on Discord. Like we're more than we're really receptive. Like we we like to hear your opinion and what you guys like, right? Um, yeah, I mean yeah. that's what we're here for. We're kind of like personal buyers, right? Like we <laughs> we will we would want to bring in and buy what people want. Um, and, and we don't know everything. Like we only know something. So um, you know, please help us even and, and, and suggest things and, and name things um and, and, and comment. Yep. So without further ado, um I, I, I don't have physical, you know, electronic bikes here um um to show you guys. What I've done is a lot of research and, and kind of just, narrow uh, down here you go. And and narrow narrow down kind of which which uh, a brand and, and model that, that I, I, I really like. So um, having said that, um, let me first show you and bring on this, this screen right here. Um, so what we have on the screen, and I've, like, I've looked at a lot of bikes, whether it's US made, Canadian made, Korean made, Taiwan, you know, Jap Japanese made and China made as well. And, and I looked at a lot of features and, and when I compared it all, I landed on this bike now this brand is called Himo H I M O and they make like a lot of different kind of bikes like they make scooters they make like you know bikes with baskets and and like just a a lot of different models i think they have like over 25 models and this is what they specialize in um and they've been making this for about you know 6 7 years now um and and for that i appreciate right because they really focus on the the details and the small things that that make it really really um you know attractive to to buy so what you see on the screen here on the far left is is on the top left corner is kind of that that look and feel um and then you see the folded version of it right so this bike you can actually fold it in half toss it in your your car bring it onto the go train right bring it to, up to your apartment uh, uh toss in your car to go camping and un undo it or if you like 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 taking trails and and having hikes and things like that you typically drive to a parking spot by your trail you could take this bike right ride it to a nice spot have a, have a have a little relaxed like picnic lunch or whatever it is but but it's really cool because it's it's foldable and and i think it looks <clears throat> excuse me it looks good um, and then uh, we have the name of the bike uh, at the bottom left corner as well. This model specifically is the Z20. Um, it's one of the newer models. It's one of the foldable models um, as well. And it's one of, the, I believe it's the only model that has like 20 inch wheels. Um, or is it, for, I forgot how, how big wheels, but it's it's the biggest wheels that they offer. And I, I appreciate that because then... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't have as much feedback and it's more comforting uh, when, when you have that for, for the ride as well. So excuse me one second. <clears throat> <clears throat> so um, yeah, so let's 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 jump over and I'll show you some some other uh, cool features as well, right? So in terms of the, the range, um, uh, this goes about uh, 80 kilometers when when you're when you have pedal assist. So there's different modes in this bike. Um, there's the, the pedal assist mode, which means that um, you are pedaling to assist the motor. So both of you are, are riding, uh, uh, you're using your legs as well as the motor um, to, to uh, uh, ride the, the bicycle. And, and that is a maximum of about 80 kilometers. From all the reviews and everything that I've looked at, 
um, the advertisement is a, a little close. I think maybe depending on the weight of of of, of uh, the person sitting on the bike. But from all the YouTube videos and, and Reddit reviews and this and that that I've seen, it's about 65, 70 kilometers um, with the pedal assist. But if you use pure electricity and you don't use any pedal assist, there's this one guy that was about uh, uh, just over 200 pounds. Um, and he took it to about 25 kilometers. So meaning you just use electricity, no, no pedal at all. That was about a 25 kilometer uh, range. Um, it has a removable, removable, re removable battery. Um, so if you need, want to take it, you know, uh, up to your condo to, to, to charge, or if you left it in, in your car, then you don't have to kind of lug the thing in and out, right? You could just take out the battery bring it in your house and, and charge it easily like that. So that's a feature that I love as well, um, on top of the ability to, to fold. Uh, really innovative company. They put an a, a, a air pump, a manual air pump, not an electric one, within the stem of the, the seat as well. So that's what I mean by attention to detail, right? They think about these, the smallest detail things, and, and that's what I appreciate. And those are the companies that I try to, to build a relationship with. Um, and and for that reason, I, I that's why you know one of the reasons why I've brought them here as well. At the bottom left screen, that's a display, um, um, the the uh, LCD display that you have there. You see what speed you're going. You have three modes, right? Like electric mode, uh, sorry, an economic mode, um, a, a a hybrid mode, and then a full electric mode as well. Um, for your speeds and then uh, this motor is at the back of the bike and it's about 250 uh, watts of power as well um, and a maximum speed because of the rules and regulations in Canada of 25 kilometers an hour excuse me um, so yeah like uh, I'll, I'll pause a second here uh, just to check if we have any questions about this as well um, this is on our website uh, under the group by uh, a section so if you go on our, our if you're on desktop you'll see it right across the top if you are on uh, mobile right now then you'll have to go on the the three lines where the menu is and then you'll see group by and then you'll be able to see all these pictures in in full scale uh, as well yeah it's it's i really like the bike too just from reading on it because you know commuting from work one thing like that i hate it's getting all sweaty uh, before you go into work with this you know just turn on the electric mode and it's just you're it's a breeze getting to work and um, it's foldable, so you can kind of take it anywhere, put it somewhere uh, discreetly in the office, or take out the battery so no one can use it. But yeah, one thing I hate is just like getting into work and you're sweaty. And that's not, I don't know, personally, like I hate the feeling of being sweaty, so that's one pet peeve I have. Uh, so I think someone has a question for us, Long Yu. How waterproof is the bike? Could I use it in the rain safely? Yeah, the, wa the, the bike is rated uh, IPX7. Um, and so therefore it's, it's, uh, rated waterproof, like meaning that you can submerge it into yeah. water up to like a couple of meters. Like I, I don't recommend that, but I mean, that's yeah. what it's rated for, um, to do. So it has an IPX uh, seven rating, uh, which means that it's, it's, it's waterproof as well. Yeah. Yeah. Another product we have is the, um, the Xiaomi Sonic facial brush. That one's a waterproof set IPX waterproof seven to IPX seven. And that one, like I submerged it in like in a bowl of water, and like nothing, nothing happened to it. It was still good to go. Um, so yeah, IPX7 is really good rating for waterproof. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Any other questions? No. Okay. Pen Max, thanks, thanks for the support. Hope you enjoy the fan. Excellent. Yeah. Perfect. So I'll go on to the next. Um, uh, uh, I wanted to say slide because that's what I say. I, I, that's what I say at work. Let's move on to the next slide now. <laughs> but let's. Do, so this is our next scene that we have here. Um, it's it essentially gives you a breakdown of everything and all the features that that they they have there, right? Um, in terms of like what the measurement looks like when it's folded versus uh, when it's extended out, um, right? The battery uh, uh, and and such. Um, these do use um, Samsung cells batteries, so those are highly rated as well. Um, and it takes about five hours to charge advertise. But from what I read on the YouTube reviews and, and forums and things like that, it's about five to six hours, but no longer than, than six hours. So um, overnight, uh, definitely it'll be, it'll be charged. Or for those people that might use this for, you know, delivery or something like that, you can, you know, take a break and, and, and get it charged a full as well. Um, um what else is there let me take a take a look um 
Oh yeah, it, it has it has uh, uh, the Shimano um, um, gear changing as well. So those are for um, typically like the automated uh, gear set changing for for when you're riding um, as well. And then do we? I'm curious if we. Oh, I don't think we have a slide on on pricing. I'm still working with the pricing, but um, the regular price for one of these guys. Uh, I think is around on our website at fourteen ninety nine. So it's not like a, a cheap product because it's it's made with quality, right? Like we're um, it's it's made to last. Of course, there's warranty on it. I'm still working out to extend the warranty a little bit with the with the manufacturer with Hemo. Um, but I'm working out some some uh, uh, group buy prices with them. So if you have friends, like I, I'm, I I did all this research for myself, and I really want to get it. But if you guys would would are interested in it as well too, click on the group buy, fill out the form. You you're not committed um, to buy anything, uh, or or you're not committed to buy the bike. But it would just allow me to have a list of people that I can email and be like, this is the price right now. This is kind of where things are. You know, the number of people that are interested or have committed. I believe the regular price, as I mentioned, is fourteen ninety nine. Um, but if we get, if we're able to get up to five bikes at a minimum of five bikes, I think that drops to twelve um, ninety nine. And if we get like over ten or fifteen bikes or so, I think that drops even further to like eleven uh, uh, ninety nine um, or so. But I, I think it's a few hundred dollars, like every kind of ten, ten, like five, ten um, 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 of quantities. Um, I, I think I have it on the website somewhere, but I'm not um, 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it's $14.99, $12.99, and then $11.99 once it gets over the, the, the 15 uh, mark or so. So for those that are, are slightly interested, want to hear more, um, no commitment at all, fill out the form, um, and then I'll send you more more details um, about the, the Hemo electric bike. Yeah. Yeah, I think... Um... Yep. Yeah. So then, there's one last one last thing. I talked about the Amaze Fit watches. Um, those are the smart watches that some of them I think may get your oxygen as well, but for the most part, your heartbeat. Some of them have fall sensors as well. Um, I just got like a whole list of them from from um, the Amaze Fit uh, partner uh, as well. So this is what we have um, on the screen here. So um, we, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, there there's uh, uh, the prices range from all the way from eighty dollars, eighty Canadian dollars, all the way to about three hundred. So still a bit lower than the Apple watches, and and quite frankly, I I personally like some of these styles more than the Apple watches, and and I mean I'm I'm like you, you saw I I use Apple a lot. I have iPads and all of that, but I actually don't have an, an Apple watch because I'm not a big fan of that style. I like that kind of the the G Shock um, style. I don't know if you guys have have known those back in the days, or I don't even know if they still have it. But um, there's many different styles on there. Uh, uh, kind of that that like uh, you know, leave a comment to see uh, if you guys are interested in any one of them. If you guys you know like the style of these, we're gonna be bringing some of these in to to do the demo, to do the live stream um, with it, and and get it on our our phones and to show you the apps and all of that too. So if there's any specific ones that that you guys like. Um, for me personally, I really like that one in the third row, the third one in the third row. Um, I can't read the name of it right now, but um, I really like that look and feel. It's that it gives you that that, um, you know, the, the uh, it has the smartness, but it also kind of has the the professional, uh, uh, the young professional look as well. So um, and, and there's also one for for old uh, uh, seniors as well. So I'm, I'm curious, I'm, I have to read more about it, but I'm curious if it has the fall detection, the oxygen monitor, you know, and it can not notify people as well because a lot of seniors, um, they fall at home and, and they have no way of, mm -hmm. of notifying anyone, right? And I know that the Apple Watch does a good job of that. It has a, a feature where it can notify and send a text message to someone to say, hey, like, you know, so-and-so has fallen, um, you know, maybe attend to them and, 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 and so forth. And it has an emergency calling feature as well. So those are some of the things that I'll do some research on. But if you guys know, I have the answers to that. Let us know in the comments. Um, and if you guys own any of these Amazfit watches, let us know your experience as well, right? Like which one you own and whether or not you like it and, 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 and what your, your, your thoughts have been um, as well. Yeah, I think OK Trombo says he has a, they have an Amazfit VIP. Oh, nice. And cool. like they can vouch for the crazy long battery life. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so great battery life. Um, but yeah, if you see any ones, any ones that you like, just let us know. 
Um, see which one. If you want to see a specific one on our store, just let us know. Yeah. We, we want to hear like your opinion, what the community likes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, give us a shout. Perfect. So that um, concludes our live stream. But did we pick the winners though? Did we pick the winners? Is it on there? Is it tagged on there? We want to make sure we get the gifts out. So we do have... Nice. Shout out to... You do the shout outs. You can sure. see better. So we have Dark Souls 3, N. Wu, Wendy La, OK Trollable, Harshiv Bur- Barat, Barrett, Barat. Sorry if we butcher your yeah, name. One, two, three, four, five. And I think we can do one more, right? Because we said we would do six. So... Yep, yeah, let's just yeah. pick one more. That will be a surprise person. And we'll do a total of six. Right now, you guys don't know what you get, but it's there's a total of six people. We're going to give out five uh, uh, the Xiaomi uh, nail clippers that catch your 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 nails and that so that it wouldn't ricochet all over all over the room um you know so that you don't step on it and 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 know so your spouse or, or girlfriend doesn't boyfriend doesn't have to yell at you um and and we have one xiaomi backpack that's the one that we have right here in the back that we will also be giving um away as well so um Thank you, all of you. Uh, thank you for for joining our live stream. Please, um, if you want, you can subscribe to to our YouTube. That will then you'll you'll know when we go live next. Otherwise, <coughs> um, leave us a comment in YouTube as well. If you guys want us to see any comments, uh, sorry if you if you want us to bring us any specific products. Mm-hmm. Um, and and again, we always really really appreciate the community. Mm-hmm. We really appreciate um, all of you joining and supporting us. Um, and we will. Uh, we will host this again we're trying to do this every two weeks we're trying to build a schedule um to do this every two weeks um and and we look forward to to seeing you guys uh, next time again yeah yep thank yeah, you yeah we'll show different products next time and just want to say before we go sam sa- salmon lips i was trying to pre- I, th- I thought that says simon lips for some <laughs> salmon reason. lips but salmon lips mr and mrs right. salmon lips salmon lips just email us at support at moderncomforts.com with an s at the end at the S of Modern Comforts.com and then to claim your prize. Well, we should have it shipped out. If you send it to us tonight or even tomorrow, hopefully by Sunday we should have we should have it we should have it to you or even shipped out. So yeah, um just before we go, if you back ordered an item with us in the previous live stream, we'll have it shipped out or even delivered to you if you're local in the GTA within the end of this weekend. And also for, I think there's only one or two of you that I couldn't get the gift on time yet. So we'll have that out to you by the end of this weekend too. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy, hope everyone enjoyed the live stream. Yeah, and we'll be hosting this every two weeks. And yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you, everyone. You guys have a good night. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there.